Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Chambers and this is a very special United States Thanksgiving. Canada already had their Thanksgiving. Tamara's never seen episode. Today I am watching Planes, Trains, and Automobiles for the very first time. This has been on my list for ever since I first started Tamara's Never Seen. I love, love, love Steve Martin. Steve Martin wrote one of my favorite books ever, Born Standing Up. I love him in everything I've ever seen him in. I think he's an amazing comedian. John Candy as well. I've watched many John Candy movies for Tamara's Never Seen. He's a flipping delight. I think it's like a travel hijinks film, kind of like trying to get back to your family for Thanksgiving. I love that they're trying to get to Chicago because I live in Chicago. I love that they're trying to get there for Thanksgiving and not for Christmas or like an anniversary or birthday or something because Thanksgiving is just kind of a random holiday, if we're being honest with ourselves. So I'm very excited to watch this. I think it's just like a feel good, fun movie. And also it's pretty short, so I love that. <laughs> Let's get into it. basically exactly what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Super fun. I loved the cast, obviously. They're amazing. Fun moments, a solid script, though maybe a little dated, maybe even a little slow at times. Overall though, just really enjoyable and well done and really well acted. So we start off, we have Steve Martin, who is your run of the mill, wealthy marketing exec. I guess we'll say. He's rich, he has a wife, he has kids, and he has a big house and he has a good life and he's trying to get from New York to Chicago. And if you don't know much about Chicago during this time of year, generally it's snowing. Right now, it's like 60 degrees and I think the universe is just throwing us a bone because it's been such an abysmal year. But generally, it's already snowing at this time. So that's what happens in the film. And he gets stuck in Wichita, Kansas. They take off from New York. Chicago has a torrential flood of snow. And then they reroute to Wichita, Kansas, where him and John Candy, the late great John Candy, are stuck together. Before they take off on that plane, John Candy accidentally steals Steve Martin's taxi. Steve Martin falls over John Candy's luggage. Steve Martin has a first class ticket booked and then they somehow double booked it. So he ends up, you guessed it, sitting next to John Candy in coach. They end up sticking together for some reason, even though all of the alarm bells in Steve Barton's mind are going off the entire time. I think you're meant to feel bad for John Candy and kind of feel like Steve Martin is a bit of a jerk. But the entire time, I just kind of felt bad for Steve Martin because I do not like talking to people on a plane. If I'm next to someone and they start up a conversation, I make it very apparent. It's like one of my ruder attributes. <laughs> I make it extremely apparent that I do not want to talk for the entire flight. I just don't, I just don't. It's already so uncomfortable. I have a bit of a plane phobia. I don't love flying. And so I also don't want to tack on like obnoxious small talk in addition. I'm just gonna watch a movie. One of the films I haven't seen that the plane offers. That's just what I'm gonna do. Okay, rant over, I'm sorry. So even though Steve Martin is kind of like on edge about this guy, he's like, sure, I guess he's gonna help me get a hotel room. So let's, sure, fine, we'll stick together. So they go to this hotel because John Candy sold shower curtain hooks to this hotel owner and turns out there's only one room left. And so they sleep together and John Candy explodes beer all over the bed and he's making like these guttural, like mucus clearing noises. That same night, all of their money is stolen. Then they end up and they get on a train and then the train breaks down and then they end up getting on a bus together and the bus only takes them to St. Louis and then they're like, all right, let's maybe split ways here. And Steve Martin tries to rent a car and he's unable to and John, it's just, it's just so incredibly frustrating. But you also, like I said at the beginning, are just along for the ride because you know what's going on. It's all in, in joyous comedy as well. So it's not like, as painful to watch as it sounds like I'm describing right now. Now, there's a bunch of movies like this movie, but this seems to be kind of the golden standard. Like, this has been 
recommended to me time and time and time again, and it's a perfect example of opposite characters, and they're coming together, and they're annoying the shit out of each other, and one of them's kind of rude to the one who's a blumbering, blumbering, blubbering idiot, and, and so the rude one kind of learns his lesson, and then the blubbering idiot kind of realizes that maybe he's a little too much at times, and you know, they, they all, they grow together, and then they, they make it to Chicago after all of these mishaps, and, and I mean mishaps that I didn't even, they, they got to St. Louis, and then they had this car, and then the car go, gets on fire, and then they have to stay in another hotel room, and they get drunk together, and they finally make it to Chicago. <laughs> And it's such a long drawn out process, but it's super fun. And so this I think is the golden goose, the golden egg of this type of movie. And overall, I really, really enjoyed it. I would totally watch this again. It's fun to have a Thanksgiving movie. I might even just put this on as I'm sitting with my partner on Thanksgiving day. There's no family events this year. Ike is gonna get so much turkey. He's sitting over there. He doesn't even know what's coming. My sorrow is his turkey fucking reward. He's gonna get so much turkey. For me, there's only one part of this movie that really just didn't work. It felt a little not fleshed out. And I think maybe it's just because, maybe it's just a little dated. Um, like this, this storytelling trope is just like a little dated for me and I didn't see this when it came out. I didn't grow up with this movie like a lot of people did and so now seeing it in 2020 and after seeing a bunch of movies that have copied this film, I've seen it a bit more flushed out in other areas. So I'm not like knocking it by any means and I still enjoyed it and I still enjoyed this portion of the story. I just think it could have used a little bit more of course we're working up to the fact that John Candy's wife has been dead. He doesn't have a family to go home to. He's just trying to get back to Chicago because of reasons and he doesn't have a home and it's just a very sad story. So at the end, John Candy's character goes with Steve Martin to his family. It kind of reminds me though of Home Alone <laughs> where everyone was like, you're definitely gonna cry at the old man at the end, that old man part you're definitely gonna cry when they're like reunited 100% and it's like I just I didn't grow up with it so I don't have that connection to it and I just didn't it didn't get me there it did not make me cry I enjoyed it I didn't think it was like bad or cheesy I just it just didn't make me cry same with this like it just didn't really get me there it wasn't quite fleshed out enough for me and again like a, for the billionth time I just think that's because I didn't grow up with it and I've seen it done so many times because they probably took those times, they probably took it from this movie. So, it's my only thing. I just had to bring it up. I, it's not that I didn't like it. I'm sorry. Overall, very fun movie. The acting, of course, is amazing. I love them both. I think that the amount of time we spend is perfect. I would have been very upset if this movie was any longer. And it's just a fun, sit back, easy movie to watch while you're eating and stuffing your face with turkey on Thanksgiving. Anyways, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. I hope you're staying safe, and I will see you next week where I rank every live-action Batman film. Because what else have I been doing during quarantine? Nothing. I'm Batman. <laughs>